Have you ever worried about AI hallucinations? You rely on AI as trusted experts, but they may provide inaccurate, outdated, or overly generalized responses. This concerns Diane, a data analyst, and Tate, a data scientist, as well. If you have taken our previous courses, Boost Productivity with Gemini in BigQuery, scan the QR code to access it, and work with Gemini models in BigQuery, you might already be familiar with Diane and Tate. They leveraged the combined power of BigQuery and Gemini and built a cutting-edge Gen AI-enabled application for Coffee on Wheels, a pioneering mobile coffee vendor. This application has multiple capabilities, helping Coffee on Wheels accelerate its journey toward becoming the food truck of the future. These features require Gen AI models like Gemini to continuously incorporate the latest information and enable the most accurate, up-to-date decision making. But how? Gemini, the same as many other Gen AI models, relies on pre-trained knowledge. Gen AI models don't know your specific business data. They are typically trained on publicly available online information, not private data relevant to individual use cases. They're not up to the minute. They have a knowledge cutoff date and may not always reflect the latest updates. They can't always show sources of information. Enterprises need to know where the answers are coming from, and Gen AI models can struggle with that. So what's the solution? That's easy. Why don't we just retrain the model constantly with new data and fine-tune the parameters? Model providers like Google periodically update their models. However, for users, constantly retraining a Gen AI model is impractical, requiring excessive time and money. Depending on the model's size, data set, and training methods, Full retraining can take weeks or even months and is extremely costly. If retraining the entire model is not feasible, how about we feed a Gen AI model relevant context and information at query time? Wow, that's brilliant. You're suggesting that instead of modifying the pre-trained AI models, we provide them with a smaller data set of current and relevant information when they generate the results. That way, the AI can leverage the latest data and provide more accurate responses while remaining cost-effective and efficient. This is essentially the idea of RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. It lets AI models access and use external information to improve their responses. Awesome. So how can you actually implement RAG using BigQuery? It's a three-step process. First, create embeddings. This converts your data into a format that Gen AI models can understand, while still preserving the meaning. The output of this step is vector embeddings in a vector database. Then, perform vector search, where you search this vector space and retrieve the closest answer to the queried item. Finally, you augment the Gen AI model with retrieved contextual information and generate improved answers. That's exciting. Join us to explore embeddings, vector search, and RAG in this mini course. By the end, you would be able to build a RAG pipeline to solve your own AI hallucination use case. Ready to take on the challenge? Feel free to scan the QR code to access the free course, Create Embeddings, Vector Search, and RAG with BigQuery on Google Cloud Skills Boost.